Hi, this is Michael Bublé. Hi, I'm Babyface. Hi, I'm Kathy McPhee. Hi, I'm Sinbad. You're watching. And you're watching. Canada.com Entertainment. Canada.com Entertainment. Canada.com Entertainment. Canada.com Entertainment. So, you know, we started out in Victoria, and I realized at some point, it took me a long time to realize this, but that the burden fell on Victoria to take care of all of British Columbia. And then we started going to Vancouver um, to pool, you know, pull from a larger pool. And then when we went national, uh, which was a goal of mine since the very beginning, I realized it wasn't fair to Vancouver to fund the, the, the so now we're, we're here in Niagara Falls, we're going to go to Nova Scotia, we're going to go to Calgary, we're going we're gonna to just be doing this every few months. So. For somebody who can't come to one of these galas, doesn't have the, the money, or can't just, just physically can't be here, how can they help? I mean, the, the greatest thing would be, and, and that's a great question, thanks for asking, because we try to spend uh, some money on donor awareness, and it, it really is so important because, you know, people, uh, a lot of people, they, uh, they have this misnomer that uh, if you're laying, dying in the middle of the street from a car accident or something, that if you're an organ donor, the ambulance guy is going to go, uh, oh, he's an organ donor, just let him die. Of course that's not true. You know, their job is to save every life they can. But, however, if it doesn't go the right way, why would you not want to donate your organs? I mean, it's just like the greatest gift you could give. I mean, we see it, we applaud people on TV when a brother gives, you know, a kidney or half of a liver. We think that's great, but but people are very reluctant to, to sign that card. They need to sign that card. It's important. Of course, we have a website. Of course, if you have 50 cents to send, we'll take it gladly. Um, but if you don't want to send money, just sign your organ donor card. It's really, really important, and I'm glad that you are helping me get that message out. I have, I have, I, I have, have signed my donor card, um, and oddly enough, this was the first year that I had done it. I don't know why. I think before something about it sort of frightened me, or maybe somehow it it makes you think that you're that much closer to death, which which is sad because give what we can to help out. Yes, absolutely. So I'm very very happy uh, that I could be a part of this. And you know what? I have. I actually live part time in the states, so I've signed my driver's license, and maybe I'll do it here. I'm tonight. I'm in. Absolutely. I think we should all be donors. I have three donor cards signed in my wallet. Which sounds odd, but uh, my commitment is uh, in one way demonstrated by uh, every time I get a new license, I still keep the old card in there. Uh, yesterday in Ontario, we moved forward with a uh, group of esteemed folks who are going to give us some advice about how we can further enhance uh, those that are uh, willing to make that ultimate uh, uh, gift of life. I, I do, and I encourage my 18-year-old to do the same thing. Absolutely. That is really important to do. I think people just kind of, they get their license, they kind of put that thing to the side, but yes, I do. And I don't have my wallet here tonight, but it's in my it's, it's, it's a touchy subject with people because a lot of people really it's, it's almost taboo. You know, I know even in our community, man, where I'm home back in America, black families really have a hard time, you know, donating organs. Like you need to have all your stuff when you're gone. I'm like this man, help somebody out, give them up.
like to do it for David anyway, but it's all, it's also easy because he always puts a great band together, great musicians together, so you know you're going to be safe up there. With him being the MD, you feel comfortable. Only pulls right in, but I can David's an old friend. I've been, in, you know, uh, he and I have been in each other's lives for over 30 years. Uh, I understand the importance of this foundation to him, and of course, wherever I can help, wherever you can give back, certainly to a friend, you're you're there. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's a yes right away, of course. Anything for David Foster, he always, um, especially when it's a cause like this. And he's been so good to me, so anything I can do to give back to his cause and to just important causes I'm willing to do. So I've, I've done it so much now. This is like my seventh or eighth time, so um, I'm afraid people are going to start getting bored and saying, like, can't you get somebody else? <laughs> somebody cooler? Um, yeah, so, you know, you have to choose what you're going to do. You know, I'm asked every day to do something else, and I would love to do charities all the time, but I, I also like to, to make money and, and uh, to tour and to sell records and to do what I have to do and to make out with Emily and, and make out with Emily. But yeah. I am. Um, but you know, you choose something, you find something that you believe in, and then you you really put yourself into it. <laughs> Does he serenade me? She she has a beautiful voice. No, he doesn't serenade. She really has a beautiful voice. True, true. He has this thing all the time, you know. So yeah. Occasionally he'll indulge me, probably when he's in the shower, and I can vaguely hear, you know. She sings, and I love to hear her sing. No, I'm not a. I can do it. Record do it. I yeah, I want to. It's the downfall of every. <laughs> Would Ebony and I be wrong? <laughs> yeah. We all know Maybe sometime in the county. That people are the same. Come on. I don't know that one. God, she's 20 years chorus. old. That's why she doesn't know. I'm like 16 years old. 20 years old. And how does it feel to come home? And when you're crossing the border, does it feel different to be home and you know perform in front of Canadians? Uh, yeah, it's always nice. It's always nice. I, people hate it when I say it, but the greatest audiences in the world are, are uh, in the United States. And um, I don't care. I love you, Canada. You're the greatest country in the world, but you're conservative. We're conservative. Get up and scream and take I even notice myself. Up. I go see shows, and, and instead of going like crazy, I go like, oh, that was quite lovely. Excellent. And uh, British. in America, they go crazy. They go nuts, and they're... Bra you know, the boobies and all that. Out. You'd think it would be different because we drink and smoke so much, but whatever. Yeah, but when we get to it, you know, we're, you know we're concerned. We're nice people. Yeah, right. Oh, those Canadians are so nice here. Right. We're, we're polite. But I like, I like being here. I just forget about playing here. I just like being here. It's no secret that I'm so proud of being Canadian. I mean, I've recorded the national anthem twice. I, I, I keep coming back here, and I, it's my roots. It's my... Um, it's really the heart and soul of who I am, whatever that is. I mean, I had such a great upbringing in Victoria, great parents, great sisters, great family. And um, that has to have played a part in the success I've had in the music business. I actually just bought a place in Victoria, and uh, I'm going to spend... I'm, I've signed a band from Victoria called... More, I'm in, in the process of signing a band called Maurice from Victoria, and my plan is to go back there next summer and live for four months and, and make the record with him. I'm going to go on Canada.com from now on. Yeah, of course I stay closely in touch, but mostly through all my friends and family that are up here, you know. But I go on the Victoria Times Colonist website and see what's going on in my hometown. And